Hi everybody, Vili again. So welcome to lecture four. For now, we're starting with the with chapter four, where we will be going into the cell and having a look at the reactions that occur within the cell. So we're not only considering the external incoming product, uh, incoming reagents, and the outcoming products. So let's get on. Okay, so let's start with uh, our little cell that we know so well. So um, in this specific case, we won't need the face because we're going to be looking on what is happening on the inside. So what I'm going to be doing over here is to divide my cell into three separate and distinctly separate sections. Okay, the first section I'm going to refer to as the anabolism. Now, the anabolism is just a fancy word for the making of more biomass. Over here in the middle, I'm going to have the second section, which I'm going to refer to as the catabolism. Now, the catabolism is really the breakdown mainly of glucose to generate energy. And we're going to go into depth into that in this specific chapter. And then the third section, I'm going to be referring to the maintenance section. And that will become clear as we go through the course. So what we have in a cell is the uptake, first of all, of glucose. Okay. So what happens to glucose is it gets distributed between the anabolism. So some of it goes to the anabolism and some of it goes to the catabolism. Okay. So what we also need to make more biomass is some sort of nitrogen source. We're going to use ammonia here. Now that's to build all that proteins in the cell, also that nucleic acids to make all the DNA and RNA material. So these need to enter the cell. Now the amount of reactions required to build biomass is really a lot. I'm going to take a guess, maybe 10 million separate reactions. Fortunately for you, we won't be modeling that reactions. But if all these reactions take place, we end up with a product and the product itself is really just more biomass. You can see half of those bacteria, half of that bacteria that we started with, we know that we call that X in the way we define terms. Okay, so the anabolism is the 10 million reactions to really just generate more biomass. Okay, now the anabolism is supported by the catabolism. Now the catabolism is mainly glucose, and what happens over here is that glucose gets, it really goes through numerous reactions. We'll be going into depth on the metabolic pathways. But um, as you go through the pathways, you will see that you form a set, a set of excretion products that we will refer to as the catabolites. Okay. So very important is that in the process of breaking down the glucose in the catabolism, you will be generating a ATP. Okay, so from the pathway, various sections of the pathway, there'll be reactions that generate ATP. That is in the catabolism. Now, it's very important to understand that this ATP, and this little arrow here is very important, this ATP gets used in the catabolism, uh, in the anabolism. So you need to make ATP in the catabolism to be able to generate biomass in the anabolism because that little arrow indicates that the ATP that I generate from the catabolism is used in the anabolism. Very important that some of the ATP that you generate will also be used in the maintenance section of the cell. So whenever we think of energy, remember ATP is just energy, we think of we need, to make en we need to make energy first of all, and probably the biggest fraction will always go to making new biomass in the anabolism, but another section goes to maintenance where ATP is just used to do the daily functions of a cell. Similar to ATP, whenever we talk about ATP, we also talk about NADH. Now, what you will find is that in the anabolism, you tend to make a bit of NADH. Now, we've talked about ATP and NADH not being able to build up in the cell. So this NADH produced in the anabolism will now be consumed somewhere in the 
catabolism. Okay, because we have an ATP balance and we have an NADH balance. So this is more or less what happens in a cell. What we can do now is, and I'm just going to make this slightly smaller to create some space for myself, is to really, uh, okay, to really model the separate sections of the cell, almost like an overall equation. So for starters, I'll be focusing on the anabolism. I'm just coloring this section in white, and I'll be describing this half a cell reaction as the anabolism. Okay, so what we have in the anabolism, and we can really take this white part out. That's the wrong one. Um, so we can take this white part, and we can write the equation as follow. Basically, what we have is glucose. Um, we need to put a nitrogen source in, so we have ammonia. And then very importantly, we are referring to that little red arrow there. We need to add ATP before we can make, and the products will be mainly biomass. But we've also, we will also see that CO2 is a common product. And what we also have is a bit of NADH that we make, and that's the NADH that I've just shown you there. So this... This, in a sense, is not an overall reaction like we used to, because it's the reason why it's not an overall reaction over the cell is because if we have a look at this, at, um, at ATP over here, that is not something that can be excreted, neither is NADH. So these will be balanced by reactions on either the catabolism or the maintenance. So let's move on. I'm just going to pick myself another color here. So now I'm interested in describing the overall reaction of the catabolism. So I'm just going to use a different color here. It looks very similar to my old color. Let's just make it slightly. Okay, so I'm going to use a new color here to describe the overall reaction of the catabolism. So this reaction over here. I'm still not that good of all my pens. This reaction over here will now be the reaction of the catabolism. We also require glucose. Okay, No ammonia required. But basically what will happen is the glucose will add up with a bit of NADH that needs to be consumed from the anabolism. And that will go to the catabolites plus some, and this is the most important part, plus the ATP. That gets generated. So overall the glucose will consume some of the NADH but it will also produce the ATP or the energy required to fuel the cell. Lastly we can have a look at the maintenance section. I'll just do this in blue. So this little section over here can now be described by the overall reaction which I'm gonna just put down here. And basically, all that happens in maintenance is that ATP really goes to, well, you can just say work or cell maintenance. So here we have three sections resulting in three overall equations. Now, it's very important, first of all, to have a look at the ATP. So I will remind you of... Um, redox half reactions where electrons get balanced and in a similar manner you can now have a look at the ATP so I'm gonna the ATP produced in the catabolism that's the orange one will now be balanced so you can see ATP in this reaction is a product okay while in this reaction reaction it's a reagent and in this reaction it's always a, it's also a reagent so effectively what you should see is that the ATP, and I'm going to draw it for you, will really be used in the anabolism, but it will also be used in the cell maintenance. So in a sense, my generated ATP over here will be used for making new biomass in the anabolism. It will also be used for maintenance requirements within the cell. 
in a similar manner we can have a look at NADH now you can see the NADH that we have over here I'm just going to choose yet another color the NADH that we have over here um, will be I'm going to use green will be balanced by the NADH this is not very clear because over here this remember is part of the white reaction the anabolism so over here it was a product and that gets balanced with the NADH in the catabolism over here where it is a reagent so I just want to draw that line between the two green sections I hope you get the picture but what it boils down to is that we will now be able and this is the last part before we go on with the notes we will now be able to balance half reactions well these are really free reactions but let's just call them half reactions so in our first part of this chapter we'll be looking at this specific reaction the anabolism where we make biomass just very important to understand that the NADH over here and the ATP that we will be forming will be internal products that needs to be balanced by other equations also happening within the cell. I hope this is helpful. Um, see you later.